Hey, welcome back to Worship Tutorials. Hello, friends. Today we have a guitar demo review, what have you, of the PRS. I get this name right. Ready, Bradford? The PRS SE Hollow Body 2 Piezo, or Piezo, depending on how you like to say the word. Or depending on what part of the country you're I'm from. I'm Team Piezo. Or part of the world you're from. Yes, this guitar, and in full disclosure, PRS sent us this guitar to use for several weeks. Uh, and to make some content with and the time for us to send it back is coming quickly and Bradford I think is gonna cry I when, am when he has to smitten so we have a lot to talk about in this video first we have to address how did you do what you did in the beginning of this video oh yes. it was one guitar one helix all kinds of sounds. If you're here to delight the senses, and you maybe never have watched one of our yeah. videos before, we yeah. do a lot of content with the Helix. Yes, we do. We and are we're fans of the Line Six Helix. We love the Helix. When we were talking about this guitar, part of the reason mm -hmm. why we wanted to do a review on it to begin with was yeah. because we saw people talking and asking about it specifically. So immediately, Brian and I were like, "There is a way we could utilize the Helix mm -hmm. to make this super flexible. It yes. makes things really easy. One patch does everything. One patch that to rule them all. So, quick rundown of what we did in that the opening video. Yeah, I was on the acoustic button. The electric was turned off. Yep. I went to the looper, played a little bit, looped it with that. Came back out of the looper menu, turned back the turned the electric on, the acoustic off, and just started playing. And the way that we got those two sounds in one in one go is with the Line 6 Helix, which we are humongous fans of here at Worship Tutorials. Yes. So we have a Helix patch. You've got two separate outputs coming out of the guitar. One, the mag output, and we'll get into how this all works in just a bit. The mag output is these pickups running into the guitar in, and then the piezo output running into the aux in, and they go in two separate, basically, signal paths in this one helix patch. Mm -hmm. And so Brad was able to play the acoustics part, and then we have buttons that turn on and off the two paths, which is really cool. Yes. And then, so Brad was able to play an acoustic part, loop it, switch to the electric path with the magnetic pickups, play the, the stuff that you just heard him play, and then switch back and forth to acoustic and electric with just the press of a button. We live in the future, Bradford. Future is now. All sounds are right here in this little in this little setup of one guitar and one helix. You can do everything. So let's talk specs. What do you get with this guitar? Because uh, there's a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. So first of all, it's hollow body. Is the thing actually fully hollow? That's the question that I think a lot of people have. And there yes. is there is a block of wood right under the the bridge. But there has to is, be. Yeah, that it is basically attached to. Yes. The rest of the thing completely hollow. It is about as wide as the bridge is. Yeah, and yeah. it's really lightweight. Oh, mega light. Really resonant. It, just. Why don't you just play it so people can hear what it sounds like acoustic? Just room mic, you can just hear how it sounds acoustic. All right, so just some basic specs with this. It is a laminated maple top and back, both with a flame maple veneer, look which that. looks <laughs> looks really good. Looks like a million bucks. Yes, it does. Uh, it has the, the wood in the middle that the bridge is sort of mounted to is mahogany. Neck wood is mahogany. Uh, it's got PRS's wide, fat neck. What, what? How does that neck feel to you, Bradford? It doesn't feel ginormous, but it it's not. Really comfy. It feels comfortable because, like, yeah. your my custom twenty four, which is on the wall over here. Yeah, that's flat. It's the wide. Me. It's the wide thin. Yeah, yeah. And like, I don't dislike it, but this is more up my alley. Like, I like having a little that's bit of something. It's chunkier. Yeah. But the neck is like the. It's rounded over. Like the the edge of the fretboard is kind of rolled. And the fretwork on this thing is just immaculate. It's, it's ridiculously it's really good. good. Yeah, and so it's got PRS SE tuners. Um, have you had any... Brad, you've been playing this guitar for a week, and you played it on a yeah. Sunday recording. Yeah, so we've been recording on Sundays any at my church. Any tuning issues? Yeah. And I took it with me. Mm -hmm. And no, I mean, like, 
Yeah, that's I, the true I, test for you. That you is gotta use test. it live. I gotta use it live. Yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use this live. Yeah. But like, I mean, sure. Like after pounding your way through a, a five <laughs> like or six guitar. minute song, like yeah. most guitars, I, I mean, but I tune. I will tune in the middle of a song if I get to stop playing. I will tune, and yeah. I think I actually made it through. We actually did two songs back to back, and I didn't get to tune between mm-hmm. the two, and it was just fine. Yeah. Which again, I would expect to do a little something. So I mean, it's impressive. Yeah. No, PR and PRS guitars, SE, S2, Core, the whole line. They're built just with a really super high level of excellence, and and you know, I've never played one that didn't feel great, and they all feel very consistent, yeah. and they all are set up great. They they're all they all hold tune well. They're just really well built uh, guitars. <laughs> things that I think is the star of this guitar are the pickups. Yes. And so I have owned PRS SE guitars in the past. I've owned a Zach Myers. And in the Zach Myers, I was underwhelmed with the pickups in that guitar and I swapped them out. But these pickups are the 5815S pickups. So it's like the import version of PRS's 5815 pickups that they put in their really, really expensive high-end guitars. And they're like legendary in their own right. Like, I yeah. think Tim Pierce has a video where he talks all about them or Those something. Those come in the McCarty 594s. The semi-hollow special 22. The semi-hollow, yeah. Those pickups are are awesome. And these are also very, very good. Yes. 58 comes from the, the 1958 PAFs that they yeah. were inspired by from, like, Gibsons and Les Pauls and yeah. all that stuff. But when you think of, like, a pickup other than, like, a Les Paul or a 335, mm-hmm. for example... You tend to think like rock and roll, yeah. but these tend PAFs tend to be lower output. The old ones, yeah. The they, old, yeah. A lot of so, people compare the old Gibson Les Pauls, like the fifty, the late fifties, to like a Telecaster, just a little bigger. Yeah, yeah. So PAF means patent applied for, and that's mm-hmm. kind of just been like what they've been stuck, or like the name stuck. So these, contrary to what it may seem like, a lot of people think humbuckers mega rock machine. I yeah. get it. They are warm. But mm-hmm. they're not like, you're not going to like turn it on and it's saturated for days. They're yeah. articulate and clear. So we actually have a clip. You can hear me using this guitar in a mix. So you have to understand here, there's like a handful of keys tracks. There's another yeah. electric. There's an acoustic. There's a bass. There's like it's, a few it's, vocals. It's very dense. It's yeah. dense. That's just how we do things. But as we show you this clip, you'll hear that this guitar, when eq correctly and you pay attention to what you're mm-hmm. doing, cuts just fine. And the final thing I'll say about the pickups is here, we at Worst Tutorials, we are self-proclaimed pickup snobs. Like, we don't even hide that fact. You know, we love third-party pickups. We put them in a lot of guitars. We switch a lot. I would not swap those out. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. One, because they sound great. Yeah. Two, because changing pickups out in a hollow body guitar well, is not much fun. <laughs> Just but, Google that. Yeah. YouTube switching. Yeah. I've done it. It's not fun. Uh, but these things sound great i wouldn't swap these out in fact these would be pickups that i would try and acquire to put in other guitars yeah i would i was they thinking sound the same thing really really good yes yeah let's just kind of give you a quick just like clean like what these pickups sound like in different positions so we're on the helix patch which we've based it around an ac30 amp model and uh we're just going to play a few things first with the electric guitar just go neck middle to bridge and play a few chords so we can hear what it sounds like <laughs>
Okay, so now we're gonna hear the piezo output through the acoustic chain. Now we did do uh, a little bit of magic on this. We made a custom impulse response for this guitar, matching it to my McPherson Camriel acoustic guitar, which is no slouch. And uh, I guess we can show you what this sounds like with it off. So I'll turn the IR off and you'll hear just the, basically the, the, the output of the piezo with a little bit of reverb on it. Sounds like this. My first impression, Bradford, when it comes to that piezo, is I've heard a whole lot of real acoustic guitars, actual acoustic in guitars, that sound way worse. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that is impressive, especially with the IR. Yeah. With the impulse response, it really does make it sound more like a mic'd acoustic guitar. Yeah. And it can totally cover acoustic ground if you're wanting one guitar to fit both of them in, especially like if there's a song that's an acoustic intro that you want to play electric guitar for, like after the first intro, verse, chorus, whatever. Like this is perfect for that application. Yeah. You don't have to switch guitars. Yeah. You can do it as one guy. Brett, I have seen uh, people on the internet, social media, ask you, because you are a massive fan of the Gibson 335 guitar. Like, it's always been sort of your white whale guitar. Mm -hmm. You've had one. You've never really bonded with one that you've had. Yeah. And, I, and I know people know that. And so I've seen people ask, how does this sort of feel to you compared to, like, a 335? Does it fill that void in yeah. your life? Yes. What do you think? Well... I think I realized upon playing this guitar, mm -hmm. I've played some like other guitars that are semi hollows or hollow bodies. Well, and you have a Gretsch Falcon. I have a Gretsch Falcon. It, it, it is that kind of a thing too. Yeah. But I never really realized, I've played really, really nice ones. I've played lower end ones. I've played mm -hmm. all in between, everything in between. Yeah. But I don't think I realized until I picked this thing up mm -hmm. that what I actually have always wanted and I didn't know mm. is a hollow body. Hollow body. It's There's something thing. different. Yeah. There, it's a little more, the word I like to use is chewy. Like when you dig mm -hmm. in and you play like neck pickup tones, mm -hmm. it's got like this chewy thing yeah. that you can't get with another guitar. At least yeah. I've always tried to get it out of any guitar. It's a different thing. It's got like this breathy, airy depth. And this style of guitar, whether it's this one or another PRS hollow body of sorts, mm. is like... The thing that I've wanted and never realized I actually there wanted. There you go. And so this thing like took me by extreme surprise because like it I was did. expecting it to be cool. <laughs> I mean, you I saw was the in clip. the room when you were like taken by surprise. By yeah. <laughs>
I have I've, I hear people say that they like PRS is so perfectly playing that that yeah that, that can be hard for like that it, is a thing with the custom twenty four that custom twenty four flies it's just I mean there is it's flawless yeah yeah but this with the little bit of a bigger neck and a mm -hmm. little bit with the hollow body it uh, feels a little vintage more vintagey it, yeah maybe? it's got a little bit it's not as and it's not that it's a a bad thing either way. You want guitar yeah. to play the way you want it to play and it feel good. It's got the right amount of fight. Like it's easy to play, but it also doesn't, you don't feel like you're gonna like fly off the handles with it. So we keep talking about it. So I just grabbed it. Uh, I will agree, this custom 24, I will agree playing this guitar versus this, they're, they're, you can tell they come from the same sort of fan, like the same lineage, yeah. right? Like they feel like PRS feels, which is, yeah. which is just, Almost perfect. And they, they got like the same but similar they, silhouette and all that. But yeah. they do have a different thing as far as like the feel of playing them. Yeah. Like this guitar is extremely resonant. When you play it, like you can definitely feel the whole thing. It's just, you know, but that one, when you play it, it just, the the vibration against your body is so much greater just because it's a, like, it's an acoustic instrument, you know, basically, because it's a fully hollow guitar. Yeah. That is a different thing. The neck, again, is different. It's just, um... They are, it's it's pretty cool though how you can tell, like this is a 10 top custom 24. Like this is like, you, you can go higher end with PRS, but really what you get when you go higher end is just different wood choices. And this is an SE, you know, this is an import line. And so they're made in different places, but they definitely still have the same heart and soul yeah. and PRS thing that in both of them, which is really impressive to me as a company that they're able to pull that off. <laughs> So hey, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in one of these guitars, we're gonna give some links below where you can get them. We'll get we'll link to PRS's website where you can see more of sort of the specs, uh, if that's something you're interested in, and places you can buy them, like Sweetwater, for example. I think these things are sold out pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I've been, at the moment. I've been looking, <laughs> trying really to popular. read specs and stuff, and so like I just Google yeah. the guitar and whatever, and like Sweetwater at least. The other day, I don't think any of them were in stock. Yeah, and but, when you get the regular version, there's more colors. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, you get this, and there's like a like there's a, a blue, blue. Yeah, um, with the piezo. I think there's there's a handful Just of other ones colors. for the standard. Yeah, the standard has some more colors. Everything. The so standard cool. has like a gray burst, like a charcoal that looks thing. Really cool. Yeah, yeah. So hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, uh, we'd encourage you to do that. Link below again. Links for all the applicable things below in this video. We hope you've enjoyed yourself here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.